With this information, you will know exactly how to get the best price and quality combination when making a purchasing decision for automotive AC compressors. This video dives deeper to the different conditions, new, remanufactured, and used automotive AC compressors, so you can make an informed buying decision when you're purchasing an AC compressor. I'm Clifford from TCW AC Compressors. For a cheat sheet on what to look for when purchasing an AC compressor, check out the description of this video. If you have a favorite brand of AC compressor, please leave that information in the comment section of this video for other viewers. And for an additional pro tip, stay until the end of this video. A lot of people describe an automotive AC compressor they purchase by the condition. Hey, I just bought a new compressor, or a reman, or a used compressor. However, this is not enough information when purchasing an AC compressor. Here, I will elaborate on the difference within each condition. First, let's discuss new. There are three types of new compressors available. OEM new, OES new, and aftermarket new. The OEM is the original equipment manufacturer. OEMs are the companies who build millions of units and they're installed at the factory, such as Ford installs AC compressors when they build their Ford cars, or Toyota installs a compressor when it builds a Toyota. I have two examples here, Denso and Valio. Both are OEM companies. Denso is owned by Toyota, and you'll find these, uh, they're the OEM on every Toyota and Lexus vehicle. Valio is also an OEM. Valio and Denso can be found on a lot of different large vehicle manufacturers. As a rule of thumb, OEM new is going to be the highest quality compressor you can purchase. These are also typically the most expensive. If you can afford it, go OEM new every time. This brings me to the second option, OES new. OES means original equipment supplier, and I'm specifically referring to compressor OES companies. An OES has the proven capability to produce a high quality unit because they are also an OEM. And this is why they are ranked second in regards to quality. Valio and Denso can also be considered an OES in some situations. For example, let's say um, you purchased or you found a Valio compressor that fits a Toyota. Well, we know that Denso is gonna be the OEM on that particular vehicle. In this particular case, Valio is the OES option for that Toyota vehicle. And the better question that you should ask is what is in the box? Well, it could be an OEM unit that they purchased from Denso, or it could be a, one of their units that has the same fit and function as the Denso. Either way, you know that Valio has the capability to produce a high quality unit. The pro for an OES new compressor is you can confidently assume it will be a higher quality unit and it has the possibility of being the OEM unit inside their box. The con, the price can vary significantly and it's usually going to be more expensive than the aftermarket new option. Which brings me to our third new category, aftermarket new. This is where quality gets tricky. Can you get a good aftermarket new compressor? Sure. Would Ford or GM or any large vehicle manufacturer put one on their vehicles during factory production? No. The pro to an aftermarket new compressor is usually the price is much lower than OES or OEM new option. The con, the quality can vary significantly from brand to brand or even within a brand. The good news, there are more options than just new where you can get a lot of great value. Let's next discuss remanufactured compressors. There are three main types of remanufactured compressors. Remanufactured by an OEM, a remanufactured OEM compressor, and a remanufactured aftermarket compressor. Remanufactured by an OEM is when an OEM remanufactures a compressor. Denso, for example, does have some remanufactured units. This is the highest quality reman and is likely gonna be much better quality than the aftermarket new option. The con, the price is still usually pretty high. 
So for a lower price reman, we have the remanufactured OEM units. This is where a third party company who's not an OEM remanufactures an OEM unit. Unfortunately, there will be some inconsistency within this market as well, similar to an aftermarket new compressor. To get the best remanufactured OEM unit, make sure the company doing the remanufacturing has adequate testing and quality control within their process. As a rule of thumb, a remanufactured OEM compressor is often cases uh, about the same quality as a aftermarket new compressor or maybe slightly better depending on who remanufactured the unit. The advantage that a remanufactured OEM unit has over an aftermarket new unit is that the remanufactured OEM unit is made mostly of OEM parts. Also, the price of an Remanufactured OEM unit is usually lower than that of an aftermarket new unit. The best remanufactured OEM units are pulled from wrecked vehicles. Key again is remanufactured OEM. Which brings me to the last reman option, which is a remanufactured aftermarket unit. To put it bluntly, stay away from these. <laughs> they are the worst quality compressor you can find. I do not know if anyone would market or um, even state that they're remanufacturing an aftermarket unit. Instead, you would likely see the absence of OEM within their process or using an OEM compressor within their process. What are the advantages of a reman aftermarket unit? None. Really, just stay away from them. Now that we've explained the differences within the most popular conditions, new and remanufactured, let's discuss the black sheep, used compressors. Used compressors can be divided into two categories, OEM used and tested, and junkyards or pick and pulls, pretty much anything and everything else. An OEM used and tested unit is an OEM unit that has adequate testing involved. What is great about an OEM tested unit? The quality has the potential to be just slightly below that of an OEM new unit. The big question mark with an OEM used and tested unit is typically how much life is left. So the newer the vehicle, the better. OEM used and tested units are extracted from wrecked vehicles, which is why they still work. Used car dealerships really like this option because they're able to put something in the vehicle that's OEM without the price point of an OEM new unit. Big takeaway here, make sure it comes with the test report, warranty, and that it is in fact an OEM unit. Feel good about these buys when you can find them. On the flip side, there is the other option, the junkyard or pick and pulls or pretty much any other used compressor option out there. The problem here is that usually you get zero warranty, you don't know if it's OEM or aftermarket, and the price is actually usually a little bit higher. And now that we've discussed all the different options within the different conditions of AC compressors, let's talk about how you can use this information to make sure you get the best value for your specific budget. So to start, you need to determine what your budget is. How much are you willing to spend? If you don't have a budget, OEM new every time. If you have a really low budget, go OEM used and tested. In the description, you'll find a cheat sheet of all the different options and kind of a way to navigate and, and make that, help you make that purchasing decision. And the pro tip I talked about earlier, try to stay as close to OEM as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more AC related videos. And if you want to ask me how I would classify something you're looking at, leave the brand and part number in the comments section and I'll get back to you and let you know.